With aim to deliver silky smooth frame rate at 4K resolution, the Radeon RX 7000 is looking hotter than ever. In today's video, we're covering everything you need to know about in this upcoming Radeon RX 7000 series, such as release date, specs, and pricing. And let's kick the video off with release date now. Before we get going, guys, what GPU are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments down below. So AMD has confirmed that its first Ordinary 3 GPU is coming out later this year with a huge performance uplift. Currently we don't know the exact date, but rumors speculate that we might see a launch happening in late October, but no later than mid-November, which uh, yeah would be around the same time frame when Nvidia is supposedly rolling out the RTX 4090. Rumors have told us that both AMD and Nvidia are rolling out the next generation of cards one tier at a time, starting with the highest performing card first. And if the rumors are correct, the companies are releasing the RTX 4090 and the RX 7900 XT around the same time frame in October. The company's senior vice president of engineering at the Radeon Technology Group, David Wang, said that the next-gen GPUs for Radeon RX 7000 series will offer over 50% performance per watt uplift versus the existing RX 6000 series. The new cards will be based on a 5 nanometer process node and utilize an advanced chiplet design that delivers increased performance per watt as well as a further developed Infinity Cache technology. Now, what AMD has been lacking with current gen RDNA GPUs stand against Nvidia has been poor ray tracing performance. Now with Radeon 7000, AMD is re-architecting the compute units within RDNA 3 to deliver enhanced ray tracing capabilities, hopefully closing the gap in ray tracing performance versus Nvidia. Now thanks to a smaller 5 nanometer manufacturing technology, we can expect these cards to reach high clock speed and being more energy efficient than current generation. AMD is also releasing the next generation FSR 3.0, which hopefully will be as good as Nvidia's upcoming DLSS 3.0. The new GPUs will also utilize the brand new PCIe Gen 5.0, allowing up to 128 GB of transfer rate. The new GPUs will also support DisplayPort 2.0 as well as HDMI 2.1. Now the new GPUs are possibly based off of three main GPUs, the Navi 31, the Navi 32, as well as the Navi 33, whereas Navi 31 is supposed to be the one that is being rolled out first and is supposed to feature the brand new Radeon RX 7900 XT. Now the GPU is said to feature 20GB of G6 memory as well as a shiplet design and 3D stacked infinity the cache. Memory stacking is unfortunately not very cheap and not energy efficient and therefore we are likely to see a bump in both price and energy consumption across the board. WCCF Tech has put together a pretty nice chart showing the possible compute power of the RX 7800 and the 7900 XT GPUs. Now, as we can see guys, a pretty nice performance uplift stand against current generation of cards. Keep in mind though, compute power isn't a 100% accurate measure to actual gaming performance, but it should still give us a pretty good idea how powerful these new GPUs might be. As for pricing, we do expect the 7900 XT to cost at least $1000 and the 7800 XT $650 or a bit more. Now, if you are looking to build a high-end budget gaming PC right now, I actually got plenty of gaming PC builds waiting for you. Click or tap the screen to take a look at my recent $1000 future-proof gaming PC right now.